Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going over the crossbreed rogue in the waistband appendix rig for the SIG 365. Let's check it out. Before we get started on the full review today guys, I want to give a big shout out to Total Impact Guns in Range down here in Southwest Florida. It's uh, probably the best range in Southwest Florida, right down here in Nokomis. So please do me a favor and check them out. Check them out on the web. Do all that good stuff, because we know, hey, we can't tell you exactly where to go for the website. But if you uh, go on your favorite Google machine and look up Total Impact Guns in Range, uh, that would be amazing. And full disclosure, they are my employer. So hey, we gotta give them a big shout out. Thank you so much for the guys at Total Impact for letting me use the range for this video. So welcome back everybody. Now, this Rogue Holster by Crossbreed Holsters, I swear on my life, I never thought I'd like an appendix rig this much. Now, I do carry this fairly often. Um, this is for my SIG 365XL or uh, 365X build we did. It is clear, there is nothing in the chamber, there's nothing in the magwell. So this gun is safe to handle. If you want to see the full video on what we did for this gun, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And if I can figure out how to do the cards, check it out. This gun is pretty sweet. We're rocking the Patmos Arms Revelation slide for the 365. We got a Holosun 407K. Uh, we got a regular Sig Coyote, uh, no, sorry, Urban Gray grip module. And we have the Sig 365 Spectre FCU. Now, this gun is awesome. It's really comfortable to carry. And then when you have something like this, this is a Kydex holster. They have it, they call it the Rogue. Uh, you're supposed to hold this at the 12 o'clock. I kind of have it at the one o'clock because that's just how my body works. But this is a awesome holster. Let's check it out. most important things that I consider when I look into a holster is retention. And I have to say with going to press out and reholstering and holstering the gun or unholstering the gun, the retention is awesome. It holds it very well. Obviously, if I'm doing acrobatics, which I don't really see myself doing because I'm such a large man that, you know, I would kind of be afraid if, you know, God forbid any type of physics happens and the firearm drops, but I'm not really gonna be doing chin-ups or like, you know, upside down sit-ups on, on a bar at the gym. So I think the retention is really good. It's very, very comfortable. Just by going and doing my dry fire drills and, you know, it conceals very nicely. As you can see in the video from the shooting footage, uh, it's not difficult at all for me to use this particular type of rig. This is the first type of in the waistband or AIWB that I've ever really tried to work with. The roller coaster is good because one, it's a dual clip design, very easy to get in and out of the pants. Also has the concealment wing here, so it presses a little bit more to your waist, so you're not gonna be printing. Granted, this is a 365X, so you're really not gonna be printing that much, and I am a larger frame person, so I have that fat that kind of just hangs over, so which makes this a perfect option for if you're gonna carry if you're being a big dude now i have another review coming they did send me another holster which i'll show you right now chat cross breed holsters i'm sorry it's taking this long for this review but when it comes to the move and all this stuff it took me a while to kind of get some range time so i could properly get a good video on testing out a holster like this they did send me this one uh it's the n8 tactical they have it on their website they're running about 60 to 70 bucks maybe around there uh i will say retention is awesome the one thing i don't like about this is it just didn't work for me great holster i have it so it does work with my red dot same thing with the rogue it's cut to work with your red dots but it's just it's Every time I went to go dry fire and like, you know, practice my, you know, drills, 
every time I went to go draw, it's a little, and I've had to, I did try to adjust the retention on this particular one. Every gun does have some type of cork to it. For this particular one, it just didn't work and the holster would just keep coming out of my pants. But it's a great holster, it's very comfortable, it's just, it didn't work for me, but I still really like the idea of it. That's why I switched to the Rogue, what they sent me, is because I can holster this, it doesn't take that long to throw it in my pants, and with it being a dual clip, I get just the right amount of like, it's not going to be falling off my belt and it sits pretty intact and I can cover it very easily which I like. If you cheat from this footage right here it's really easy for me to draw my gun. talk about pricing now this is supposed to be any tactic what they consider this the executive holster that is on their website uh, the exact pricing on this this is going for about $54 just for like a plain black now with that and this rogue system you do have a lot more kind of print options a lot of people like kind of tricking their holsters out for me I'm not that worried about like what my color scheme or the print on my holster is just because it's in my pants hundred percent of the time so unless it's on the desk and I'm just looking at it, you know, it's, some people like it, some people don't. They do have a ton of options available. Uh, it, will in, it will increase the price, but the straight black version for the SIG 365, this is working off a of 365 because this is how the trigger guard is. It doesn't matter what the grip frame is. So the, for a 365, 365X, you're looking at about $99 if you want to have like a custom print, but just for the Rogue, you're looking at about $79. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It is an affiliate link. So if you guys want to pick up one of these holsters, please do me a favor and follow that link. It tells Crossbreed that you guys like this video and it also helps the channel out immensely. Helps buy stuff like ammo, guns, gear, you name it. Ammo's our biggest cost for the channel right now. So we appreciate if you use that link, but they are really affordable and they work. So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We're gonna have many more on the way. I have a few videos in the pipe already. I can't wait to release them. We're back to doing videos at least once or twice a week now, plus the Shooting the Woods podcast. Thank you so much. As always, stay safe, stay shooting. I'll see you soon. Peace.